Happy Wednesday. Don't forget tomorrow we've got our podcast. It's going to be amazing. We've got Judy Ledour as a guest. We've got Paul, my co-host from Realty Connection. We're going to talk about how we can help you recruit agents more effectively. It's going to be amazing because at the end of the day, if no one's making your calls, if you don't have any software, if you're not being coached on how to grow, then you're not going to grow. And we don't want that. We want you to continue to grow. So make sure you stick around and watch the video after this video of our podcast promotion and click the link below to sign up for tomorrow. We look forward to seeing you there. Have a great day. I am so excited. We're on our fourth podcast. First podcast, we have the data. Second, what do you do with the data to find the agents you want and those that might be thinking of moving their career? Three, we went right to the agents themselves and talked about what do agents like to hear or not hear. And now we're on our fourth podcast and I am so excited. Of course, I'm joined here with Rob Sutherland, a pro broker agency. How you doing, Rob? I am super excited, Paul, super excited. How are you doing? I'm good. So what do we have for our fourth podcast? Well, I mean, Judy Ledour is going to come on and we're super excited to have Judy come on. I actually met Judy in 2008. I know that dates me a little bit, but uh, I learned how to recruit, you know, at the Remax headquarters at a Judy seminar and I loved it. And, you know, we've stayed in touch ever since then. And I actually have taken it a couple of times. It was just so valuable, but uh, we're just super excited to have her on the podcast to talk more about what she does and stuff like that. So, hey, Judy, how's it going? Great, Rob. Thank you so much. Thanks, Paul, for having me on today. Really excited to be here. And awesome. uh, yeah, so uh, I'm really excited about our next podcast. I love that you guys have built this into a series of getting brokers ready, learning how to find the data they need, organizing it, and then finding out what agents have to say about what turns them off and what, uh, you know, what turns them on with regard to brokers. And I really want to piggyback on that in, during the webinar. Um, you know, it's, it's really true that you have to do your research before you just pick up the phone and start talking to agents. Um, you know, Rob, for sure. you do a great mm -hmm. job of booking those interviews, booking appointments for agents to talk to, to brokers. But then when the broker connects with that agent on that appointment that you've set and says something like, uh, so yeah, so tell me about yourself. Um, instant turnover for a great agent. So have your dialogue. We're going to talk about specific dialogues that convert those calls into interviews. And even in the interview, all of the questions that a broker is asking should be customized to point to that broker's most unique tools, um, those things that can really make a difference in an agent's career. Um, so you need to do your research. You need to think about the questions that you're going to ask. Do they point to what it is that you do as a brokerage? Um, you have to determine what type of agent are you going to be meeting with? You know, Typically, an agent will make one or two moves in their first seven years. These are called their building years or their foundation years. And so everything they need during that time is going to build their system. Uh, once they've been in the business seven to 10 years, typically now they're looking for different things. And, and so again, asking relevant questions, really nailing down what it is that that agent wants, what's going to be you know, important to them. And I think one of the things that, that I've always shared with brokers, and this came up in your June webinar with the agents, is that as much as brokers would like to think that it's about money, it is not about money most of the time. Now, it's about their ability to make money, maybe their ability to make more money and, and spend less time, but more than anything, it's about the culture and the environment that you have built as a company. Um, it's about the people that you've attracted and your reputation in the marketplace. So the best agents want to be with the best brokerages, and that is something you have control over. Um, and by the way, yeah, so, so you know, as you know, Rob, most agents are emotional, which means that when they're happy, they're productive. So they make more money when that's they're true. happy. So that's why money doesn't have to be the deciding factor. Absolutely. Well, all, you know, great, yeah. great information, Judy. And, and, you know, Judy Lador is a household name in the real estate business. But why don't you tell how long have you been out there coaching, managing brokers in this? In yeah, this? thank you, Rob. Um, I launched my speaking coaching consulting company in 1992. Um, and uh, after having been a full-time recruiter myself for 10 years, uh, I love helping brokers fine-tune recruiting. There's so mo many moving parts in recruiting. Um, and, uh, you know, there's just, you have to look at it all. Uh, one of my favorite quotes by Tiger Woods when asked why he had a coach is he said, you know what, you can't see your own swing. And so that's what I do. <laughs> Perfect. For brokers. Yeah. Like I, that's what I do for brokers. I take a look at everything they're doing from their systems to their dialogue, to the presentation skills, their follow-up, just every aspect of it, just to make sure that everything's in place because your best results will come when, when you've got everything working for you. 
I don't know, Paul. I think this is going to be our best podcast. I, I mean, I, I agree. I, that's, it's already turning great. into a pot. We're probably going to have to cut it short now because this is just the promo. But imagine how good it's going to be when we're actually all together chatting about this on, is it June 15th at, uh, what time was it again? 5 p.m. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. July 15th. Link below to register, right? So, yeah. Awesome. Click we got the, the link, link below. below to register. It's going to be our best podcast yes, yet. It July is. 15th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Judy, thank you for being our guest. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. We'll see you then. (laughs) Sign up in the link below.